In this video, I'll show you how to use the simple but powerful .NET env package to add environment variables from a .env file to your .NET application and then configure them in ASP.NET Core to use the configuration provider. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Chris Roberts and this is Roberts Dev Talk. Now there are a, a plethora of ways to configure an ASP.NET Core or .NET Core application. Of course, the out of the box method is to use the appsettings.json format. Now I find these files sometimes a little bit hard to handle and also I find that when storing secrets, they don't play particularly nice with source control. And also I do quite a lot of work with Nest.js, which is Node and Laravel, which is PHP as well. They use .n files to configure their environment during development. So I went looking for a package in .NET that would do the same job and I found one. It's called .NET Env. It's really simple to use. Here's how you do it. So I have here a very simple .NET 6 console project. All it does is it pulls a message out of the environment variables and then it writes that message out to the console. If I go to my .n file here, I have my message which is subscribe. Now if I were to run this application now using .NET run, of course, the message is blank because the console app knows nothing about my .env file. So let's fix that. Let's use a .NET env package by installing .NET add package .NET env. And then if I head back to my program.cs and I add the line .NET env .env .load and save that. Now if I clear my terminal and run .NET run again, we'll see that .NET env has loaded the environment variables out of the .env file and inserted them into the environment. And my message now says, Robert's Dev Talk says, subscribe. Now, what happens if I'm using a ASP.NET Core template? Well, let's find out. Now, ASP.NET Core is slightly more sophisticated because it already has a configuration provider built in that aggregates config from multiple different sources, including environment variables. So you want to work with that configuration provider. So here I have a blank ASP.NET Core MVC template. I've already created a .n file with a super secret connection string in, which is foo db, and I've also added my .NET env package already. Now, if I go to my program.cs file, notice under create host builder, the create default builder already adds in the environment variables as a source. So all I need to do is before this point, run the .NET env env.load method again. Now, once I get to my startup, I notice I have my iConfiguration object injected in. If I assign the value of my connection string from configuration and then super secret, save that, pop a breakpoint in and then run start debugging. Notice in my debug panel, my secret is foo db. .NET env has loaded the environment variables from the .env file, and then ASP.NET Core has picked up that environment variable and added it to our configuration. Now that's just a really quick introduction to the .NET env package. There's quite a lot more you can do with it. Uh, so I'll pop a link down in the description below to the documentation and the GitHub repo. I find it to be a really useful tool, especially when moving between other frameworks like Nest and Laravel. It's great to use in development. If you've liked this video, then please do drop us a like. And if you've got any questions about other packages or libraries you'd like us to cover, then drop a comment down below as well. If you like this kind of content, then please do subscribe and also consider joining our community, our developer journey, where we started a newsletter actually, and we're just going to once a month or so collate some of the interesting news and articles and tips that we've come across in our work and learning. Also, we've got a link to buy me a coffee if you'd like to support what we do, buy us a coffee or a beer. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding and we'll see you next time.